हैव यू एवर बीन टू अ प्लेस जहाँ पे इफ़ यू गो वंस योर सोल स्टेज बैक सो यू हैव टू कम बैक अगेन टू रिट्रीव योर सोल वेल ऐसा एक विलेज है इन नागालैंड विच इज नोन एज लॉन्कम विलेज आई गेस आई बिलीव एम हेट टेक बैक माई सोल ऐसा माना जाता है कि लॉन्कम विलेज इज ऑल्सो ए प्लेस वेर स्पिरिट्स ऑफ द डेथ रेस्ट बिफोर वॉकिंग अप टू हैवन तो ये सुनते ही मैं और मेरी दोस्त डिसाइडेड टू विजिट सम विलेजेस लाइक लॉन्कम एंड मापोंग चुके टू एक्सपीरियंस एंड लर्न अबाउट द मिथ वी हर्ड फ्रॉम आर ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स तो चलो आपको भी साथ ले चलते हैं टू शो यू सम ऑफ द ब्यूटिफुल विलेजेस ऑफ द आवनागा ट्राइब इन नागालैंड Okay guys but before we go ahead and start the video I'm going to be sharing with you all my shower routine Majority of the people today face a lot of face concerns like pigmentation and dark spots and market mein there are a lot of products that can help you solve such problems but body concerns ke liye products bahut hi zyada limited hai That is why I'm going to be introducing you to some really good body washes from Dermaco The 1% Koji Gazette body wash by the Dermaco has the power of two actives the 1% Koji Gazette and Alpha Arbutin This body wash works wonders in diminishing pigmentation and reducing the appearances of dark spots, revealing a bright and even skin tone. And the best part here is a sulfate-free formula, which is also powered with pentavitin, a potent hydrating ingredient that works to retain the essential moisture of your skin and maintains its natural barrier, ensuring up to 24 hours long-lasting hydration. The hero ingredients like kojic acid lightens the dark spots, treats melasma, and decreases the appearance of scars. and the alpha arbutin here fades the effect of hyperpigmentation like dark spots acne marks and melasma the dermaco also has three more variants for different skin concerns like the salicylic body wash for rough bumpy skin and body acne the vitamin c body wash for skin radiance and the ceramide oats body wash for dry and sensitive skin So you can try any of this body wash for your body concerns. Also the best thing about Dermaco is that the Dermaco has a power 10,000 plus students this year with their young scientists initiative. So every time you buy from them, Dermaco will link your order to a child that they help educate along with Boomi. All the products by Dermaco are fragrance free. So you can check the link in my description. It's also available on Amazon, Nike, Flipkart and the Dermaco websites. So you can use my coupon code naga2023 for 20% off if you want to buy it. We went to the shop to get a uh, veem soap because there was no soap to wash the dishes and this is what our outside looks like bahar ka compound like I mean it's a village mein to na walls nahi hote hai the best thing about village area is uh, there's no walls or boundaries or gates everyone shares the same compound like this and it's one of the best thing yes uh. so it's early morning now bahut hi sunny hai good morning morning <laughs> विलेज लाइफ बालना सब्जी अभी पक रहा है वहाँ पे एंड दिस इज वॉट माई ग्रैंड मॉम्स किचन लुक्स लाइक लेट मी जस्ट शो यू गाइस इट्स वेरी क्यूट लॉट्स ऑफ ब्राउन फर्नीचर्स दिस पार्ट जस्ट रिमाइंड मी ऑफ माई ग्रैंड मदर लॉ देर इज अ फायर प्लेस वेर नॉट मेकिंग एनी फायर बिकॉज इज रियली हॉट वेर गन हैव लंच राइट नाउ दिस इज वॉट इट लुक्स लाइक वी हैव दाल वी हैव कॉर्न लोकल फूड गाइस एंड दिस इज अ चटनी लुक एट दिस सो टेस्टी सो टेस्ट मैन सो टेस्ट वर्क इज ऑल्सो देर फॉर इज गोन टू दिस लंच एंड दिस टू आर ब्लू थी को इंसिडेंटली दे वेरिंग द सेम कलर शर्ट गुड मॉर्निंग गाइज हेलो जी दिस इज योग नागा नूना बैक अगेन विद अनादर न्यू वीडियो एंड वी आर हैडिंग टू सम विलेजेस टूडे Chong is here, Pari is here. My brother is here. Ha. Huh? So, good morning. Quite rushy, rushy. Hi. My dad and mom they're staying home because they don't want to go anywhere. And us adventurous people, we are going out. So today my brother is going to take us around. His name is Imsar. <laughs> and uh, he doesn't like to be in the camera, so I'll just show him again. And uh, he lives here in Mukok Chong. That's uh, Pari and Chong. This is the Mukchung view. Swaget, say what get when you live there. You know how people, say, we, everyone in Mukchung, we say swaget. Especially in Umma, we get swaget, but it actually 
Sewak gate na. <laughs> but action is action. So swak it, punchule is imani kya. So guys, rasta bahut kharaab hai. So abhi ke liye rakhte ho. Milte hain baad mein. So koi plan nahi hai. Aaj to bas aise explore karne wala hai. So let's hope that we'll all have a good time together. So chalo, isi baat pe ek nazara dikhate hain aap logo ko. Hi guys. So we're in the middle on the way, and we just saw this. Cute vintage car. <laughs> hey, the door is also open, yeah. This is what it looks like. It's very old. So we're just taking some pictures here, and Fari's over there enjoying the view. So we just parked our car here, and uh, Chong is taking pictures. Look at the view, guys! It's so beautiful, isn't it? These are all fresh, organic salt. Anti gamba bikai said. So we're getting water, and this one. Anti yaga ikidi no. <laughs> the first place for today is Impur, a town or egg assembly constituency in Nagaland, India. It was established as a mission center in 1894 by the American missionaries. Or 1897 May, when the Au Baptist Church Association was formed, it became its headquarters and continues to do so till date. It is just 15 kilometers away from the heart of Mukshung town, and it's also the headquarters. Of our churches in Nagaland, which has about 159 churches under its fold. Hey guys, so abhi ham log hai in Mapung Chukit, which is also a beautiful Au Naga village, and it's just 14 to 15 kilometers away from uh, Mukukchu. So also one of the cleanest villages among the Au Naga villages. Mapung Chukit has always been famous for the legendary love story of Jina and Itiban, regarded as Romeo and Juliet of the Aunaga tribe. But आपको पता है, this lake over here called Sankutanam also has a remarkable story behind of how it was formed. I heard it from an old folk that this lake was formed when a giant snake was killed by a man in the village, and when the huge snake moved around trying to escape. It dug out a huge area, turning the whole land into a big shape of the lake, and eventually the place transformed into a lake. And now it's visited by many tourists as a famous lake in the village. So it's quite interesting that this place, I mean, in villages, there are many such stories, such folk tales, where you go to such a place and then you get to, you know, see and listen to interesting stories like that. There's always a story behind each and every place in every village, and they have their own way of telling it. So today it's going to be very interesting because we're going to learn a lot of stories like that. So chalo, let's go to another place. Um, it seems there's a tea garden over there. A thora niche jaate. So tea garden bhi jaake visit karte hain. And we're having a problem with our music system here. So bear with us when there is a lot of music playing. All of a sudden, if it pops out. So chalo, guys, let's go to the tea garden. I think this tea garden is really cute. I've seen big, big tea gardens, but this one is actually a small one. Chota sa hi hai. Look at this lemon, guys. Itna chota sa gas me, itna bara sa lemon hai. Yahan ka soil bahut hi zada acha hoga, is bahut hi zada fertile hoga, as you can see. Two big lemons over here. This one as well. <laughs> I want to have lemonade after seeing this. One good thing about Mabung Chukit, guys, is that you know this place is blessed with a lot of historical and cultural assets. This is the place where the love story happened between the Romeo and the Juliet, which means uh, wo Gina and Etibin ka jo story tha, wo yahan pe hua hai. And uh, later, I'll take you guys to the tower as well. Guys, this is Itibun Memorial Tower. We're going up there to the top over there to see the view of Mabung Chukit Village as a whole. So we're climbing up the tower, guys. It's a spiral in shape. So it's a little bit of a jagger, a jagger, a but ponch nee re. I'm looking. And you can see the whole village view from here. That is the church over there. Ah, it's beautiful, right? Ah. There is nothing like watching the entire village from the top. 
so we enjoyed the beauty of Mapung Chukit for a while and moved out. Kyunki sham hone se pehle, we had another village to visit. To chalo, let's go to Longkum now. Hey guys, so we are now heading to Longkum village Kyunki at the end of the day, sunset is the most important time. Na? Like the evening time, so it's the important time in Mungkili. So we thought we will end up the day with the uh, the view of Longkum village. I think this will be our last uh, village for today. We could only cover two villages in a day, but yeah. Um, Longkum, out of all the places I've been here once back in the year 2000, 18, 19, like that, and I've always loved this place. And I'm so happy that we are going to visit today. So, the village village's favorite part is the sunset and also the village area where there is a small house and there is a very nice road and there is lots of rains, nature and we will see a very good scenic beauty so let's go to the sun before the sun let's go to the sun before the sun before the sun let's reach the view point and I'll see you guys there until then just enjoy the road enjoy the view and the landscape this is what the road looks like quite a bumpy ride Hey guys, so finally we have reached Longkam village and just above me over there is the viewpoint where you can see the aerial view and you also get to see Doyang very clearly and the uh, sunset view here is really guys, it's really beautiful so I believe that you know, if you come to Longkam once, you have to come twice because you leave your soul behind here if you just come once so you have to come back twice to retrieve your soul again so you know this is my second time so i guess i'm i i guess i believe i'm here to take back my soul <laughs> it's a very beautiful place this is one of the highest altitude village of the Ao region and the best thing about this place is that from this viewpoint that i've shown you guys since it's at the top and i'm just taking a stroll around the village look at this beautiful cute house i love the place here last time i came here um bahut hi rush rush se aaya tha, so i did not quite explore much but today i'm thinking i'll just go around take a you know little stroll around the village area check out the local houses here i mean i love the architecture here hi hello somebody said hi to me over here hello so cute look at her anila namda hello kui hello yeah so warm she said hi from far okay so this is how a village house in longkam looks like <laughs> and uh, I love this house also. It's really beautiful. Look at this. What is your name? Ha. Aaron. We are not. We do like it, isn't it? Yeah. Aaron like him good. Ha. One. Aaron like one years, Anna. Yeah. Aaron like to put a child there. Such a cute little girl. My name is Aaron. The song myself. My. What? Name. Name is. Oh. oh my god, look at her! Wow, she's trying to show this one! <laughs> Yay! Look at you! Come on, let's take some good pictures! Smile! <laughs> I have a new friend, guys! Look at her! Wow! Bye! Oh, some jerna. Utsana pana? Utsana. Apa shiba? Apa maneda? Utsana. Utsana. Oh, Azula. Hey, at the jama. The shama no? Is on the jama? Bye bye. Hey, at the memes eh? Longkum is no doubt a picturesque village. But Patae, this village is also called as the vegetable capital of Nagaland. The village leads in the production of tomatoes, which is a major commercial crop for the area and exports to neighboring districts like Kohima, Dimapur, and even to some places in Assam. 
Longkum is one of the scenic destination villages in Nagaland with so much to offer to the nature and adventure lover with beautiful trekking trails. So if you also love sunset and nature like me, then Longkum is where you should be. Hi! It's so cute kids guys. <laughs> so many grandchildren. Look at these cute kids. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. I am a nerd, aren't I? I don't smile, I don't smile. I don't smile. about the two lovers, Gina and Itiban, Longkum is also another place where they rested during their journey. And this is the place where we can also see the footprints of Gina and Itiban on the rocks. So guys, we're heading downhill over there. It's more like a little mini trekking. I've seen this part somewhere in someone's vlog. I don't remember whose, but yeah, I've seen a lot of pictures of this place. Okay guys, so I just heard it from the locals over here. This is where Jina and it's been rested and set. And yeah, up, if you come closer, you will see a shape of their bum over here. Kaha jata hai ki pehle ke time mein it was not as hard as like this. I bought Naramuda to Jabete, so you know the shape lag jate the and then it, 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 it just remains like that now forever. Dono ka yaha pe bethne ka imprint yaha pe para hua hai and even now people still believe that yaha pe dono rest kya tha. And yaha pe bhi as you can see there are small lines over here. Yaha pe Jina used to you know uh, apna dao jo tha. So this is the shape as you can see over here, line the hour here. So this is what it's believed and the mark still remains. Isn't it fascinating? Most of the myths we hear from our grandparents, if we look closely, it seems that somehow it's true. And the best part is experiencing it ourselves after hearing so many tales about the places. <laughs> And that's how I spend my break in our villages, listening to all the mystical stories of the Aunaga tribes. So, yehi khatam hote hai hamare vlogs. Fir milenge ek nayi safar pe. Also before we end this video, shout out to my brother's new venture, Birthday Hut. They have party supplies and bouncy house for rental. People from Mukokchung can contact them if you want to rent any party supplies. So please do support him on Instagram guys. Link is in the description. <laughs>